Uh, for, first, I'd like to thank you both for being so generous with your time and with your ideas for us today. Thank you. We get paid by the hour, so it's... It. <laughs> well, I'll try and talk quickly then. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> my name is uh, Bob Costa from Evansville, Indiana. I've been a shareholder for four years. Uh, this is my first visit to uh, Omaha, and I went to the Mega Mart, and I actually bought something there, and I tried to pay for it with an American Express card, uh -huh. and they told me, just like the, uh, just like the ad, you can't use it here. Uh, I hope you both comment on that, or at least one of you. Uh, but my real question is that I just stumbled across the idea of intellectual capital and, and how that might be useful in valuing a business, and I was hoping that uh, one or both of you could uh, clarify that for me and whether that's useful to us as investors or, or just another academic theory that we'd be better off ignoring. Yeah. Harvey Golub, who runs American Express and has done a terrific job of running it, has written me about the uh, about the furniture mart as well as about C's. Uh, and uh, we basically let our managers run their own businesses. So the people at each entity, Borsheim Stakes, American Express, uh, not, uh, others of our businesses do too. We, we let every manager make his decisions. As soon as I start telling the managers that they ought to say take American Express or not take Visa or whatever it may be, you know, at that point, They've lost some of the responsibility for their operations, and and the, and perhaps to an extent, even you know some of the pride that comes from running them. They, most of our managers do not need to work for a living. They they run their businesses for the same reason Charlie and I run Berkshire. They they, they love doing it. They jump out of bed in the morning because it's exciting to do. And the one thing that would keep the two of us or drive the two of us away from Berkshire is if we were getting second guessed all the time or somebody else was telling us when to swing or not to swing. We would have no interest in running it, but we go run. We do something else then, and maybe our other managers aren't as extreme as we are in that respect. But we we feel they've built successful businesses. They know how to do it. We do allocate the excess capital they generate, but aside from that, we we really let them make their own decisions. So we have no company-wide policy uh, on virtually anything that I can think of, except send money to Omaha. Uh, <laughs> but and. You know, we're delighted to have American Express give the Furniture Mart the reasons why the Furniture Mart will be better off using American Express, and my guess is they have some very good reasons, And but they're going to have to sell them on that, and just like uh, any vendor of anything has to sell each operation. We wouldn't, we wouldn't tell the people at Seas who to buy these, the, the nuts from, or who to buy the, uh, the container from, or uh, anything of the sort, how to design the stores or whatever it may be. And, and that's, just, that's just the Berkshire uh, philosophy on, on